Our next guest generally has a pretty hectic schedule, especially around homecoming. However, WKU President Gary Ransdell was able to free up a few minutes to sit down with Extra Point anchor Jake Ryle to talk Topper Athletics. And now we are joined by President of WKU and Dr. Gary Ransdale. Now, President Ransdale, plenty of things going on on the Hill this week, but we first have to talk about athletics. Two straight weeks of success for the volleyball teams, soccer teams, football teams. How does this really correlate to success through the uh, athletics department as a whole? Well, the, the whole athletic department brings a great deal of energy and, and institutional pride and, and self-esteem to the entire university. Whether you're following any given athletic team or the athletic program in general, uh, we live in a society where there is a sports section in the paper every day. Uh, and we want to be in that sports section for all the right reasons uh, uh, based on success that we've been able to achieve. And our volleyball team, I think 22 and 3 and ranked in the top 30 in America. And soccer, I think, is uh, 10, 5 and 1, I think the record is now. And they're, they're doing well in the Sun Belt Conference and cross country and uh, men and women's cross country getting ready for the uh, Sun Belt Championships here in Bowling Green uh, next weekend. Uh, so there's so many things unfolding around us. Uh, that, 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 that gives us a good deal of pride in what we're doing. And I love to watch our students compete, whether it's for an athletic team or whether they're engineers or forensic students or whatever the case might be, we're going to compete at a very high level and do it well. Now, homecoming week, huge week. You look around, there's so many people here. How is this really playing a part in alumni relations for you guys a as a whole? Well, it's huge. You want your alumni to continue to be engaged with the university and continue to take a great deal of pride. And our, our alumni are very passionate and very emotional. And all the symbols of our university, the red towel and this campus itself and Big Red and the things that are uniquely WKU, nothing contrived here. All these traditions have evolved over, over the generations that give our students and our alumni something to uh, to celebrate and homecoming is is a, is a hallmark event on our campus and I love to see alumni come back they get to see changes in the campus they get to see each other and for the first time in a few years we've got a homecoming football game that means something in the Sunbud Conference race there uh, with the toppers uh, sitting at uh, two and one in the Sunbud Conference and six and one Louisiana Lafayette four and zero oh in the Sunbud coming in today so uh, it's it's a great day per perfect weather and it's, it's a great day to be a hilltopper we talk a little bit about the alumni as a whole. You've got the Dan Augustine Center under construction right now. What is that exactly going to mean for alumni that, you know, for really students that are here now and for alumni that have already passed on through from WKU? What does that mean for them as a whole? Well, our vision for WKU is to be a leading American university with international reach, and you define that in many, many different ways. Most great universities have a center home on their campus that alumni know about, understand, and come to when they come back to campus. And we're building an alumni center that will play an important role in defining the personality of our university, particularly for our own alumni. And Del Augustine to have made a million dollar gift to that facility to name it was huge. He continues to be involved in raising the balance of the money to build that facility, all with private gifts. And when we open that facility this time next year, our alumni will have a true home that will have all the amenities and all the capacity to house events for alumni and lots of other events well. And we're going to surround it with uh, parking structure, student housing, a bookstore, and a fresh market, and RFPs for a hotel go out shortly. So that whole section at the north end of our campus is taking on a whole new dimension uh, that's going to bring great energy, pride, and, and, and strength and quality to our university experience. Do you ultimately think having an alumni uh, center of that stature is really going to boost the athletic department as a whole? Or? Well, I, I think it will because anything you can do that, that helps you recruit students and helps uh, define the personality of the institution, there will be places in that alumni center that will define our history with, with great moments and individuals and things that, that have defined our history as, as an institution. Uh, and we will start our campus tours there for admissions, by the way. Uh, I think it's a great, uh, I love the bookend of a prospective student beginning their first tour of campus as a junior or senior in high school in the Alumni Center uh, to, to tie the entire WKU experience together. Student athletes are no different. So I think, I think it and what we're doing with the renovation of the Downing Center are going to be huge in giving our coaches uh, the means uh, through which they can recruit better student athletes uh, to our campus to allow all of our teams to be competitive at a very high level. Okay, well, we got one last question for you here. Since the football program three years ago, well, this week, yes. If you'd have asked me three weeks ago, I would have a couple games in a row. 
You know, I, I told our football team this week, Willie asked me to come by for a few minutes, and I told our juniors and seniors, I thanked them for, for being part of the transition and putting us in a position to where the program is finally performing at a, at a high level. And I thank the freshmen and sophomores for bringing in enough talent that, that they could give the juniors and seniors something to believe in. Uh, and I told them, this is the first time we've had a home game that meant something in the conference race in a long time. Let's go get it, guys. Uh, and so, yes, we're where we want to be. We knew it was going to be a tough transition. Two years of transition and the last couple of years competing, not competing very well. But it, it, we've had two good recruiting classes, and it takes multiple recruiting classes to bring in the kind of talent that allows you to compete at a BCS level. And with all the dynamics and intercollegiate athletics across conferences these days, it's important that we be relevant uh, and, and, and the Sunbud Conference be relevant in the BCS profile. Well, President there are 11 BCS conferences, and we intend to compete in one of those. President Ransdale, thank you so much you for bet. your time. Thank you. Thank you for I know, know you're a busy guy here on campus. we got a lot going today. But that's actually going to wrap it up with President Ransdale interview. Be sure to stick around next. We've got more interviews coming up.